we fix it to make this town real smoking. Jack 8's trailer dropped exactly when we were expecting it. That means our predictions for Jun Kazama is that much more concrete. What I was trying to take note of in this trailer, how he interacted in combos, in the heat system, and just rage arts, because we never really seen a big body character until today. Jack 8. Jack 8! Jack is falling out of the sky like a Bees, bro, bees. Is he just stands there? Oh my God. Chad, Chad, call this guy Chad 8 for now on. One thing that Jack 8, or excuse me, Chad 8 was doing all throughout this was he kept like going into this weird like flexing stand. I, I kind of want to compare it to like the Goliath stance from Gigas. Really the only difference is the way that they are uh, faced. And then he does like this mix up. That is very interesting. And look at that. This hit he does here is definitely going to go into the heat system. He just doesn't activate it in this moment. Next off, you have Jack 8 jumping in the sky like a... Bro, this is crazy, bro. I wasn't expecting this kind of like awesomeness from Chad 8, but he is definitely bringing it. I don't know why the little, you know, ape hop is so cool, but then he once again goes into the flexing pose. Pay attention to this. I like how he charges the light and look at how the light reflects off of the stage, the ground, the background. This is Unreal Engine 5 in full effect. King tries to sidestep. I always have to point this out because people act like sidestepping and movement doesn't exist. Even though he gets hit because this is a tracking, he still tries to sidestep. So this is a double power crush right here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think King has the same exact power crush in Tekken 7. And in Tekken 7, this move uh, wall bounces. I don't know if, if the wall bounce is still in Tekken 8. I have not seen one attack that wall bounced in the trailer. Jack beats King's Power Crush with a Power Crush of his own. And this wall splats him into that explosion. He follows up with another combo. And then he keeps flexing. He keeps flexing. This is crazy because usually in Tekken 7, you'll end that combo with that shoulder. You'll do the one, two, and then shoulder. But here you do one, two, stance, and then you do this tornado fist. I wonder how the Jack Mains is gonna like this. This is the first time, correct me if I'm wrong, but the first time I ever seen Jack has this real stance. Look, he's doing it again, incorporated into his gameplay. I, it's, it's crazy to see he has this, like, it seems like this is like, one of the most core parts of his gameplay now. Every single time he touches you, he breathes, he's also flexing. I wonder if that's necessary or if it's not necessary. This is when he activates the heat system, flexing once again, short combo. The combos in this, it, the combos in Tekken 8 really look so short, man. So incredibly short. This is the move we saw in uh, the first trailer. We get a full look at it now. Maybe I could try a side-by-side -side comparison to see how much it was improved upon. <laughs> Oh wow, this is this is interesting. So he does the flexing pose once again. And then when, if you try to hit him or if you try to interrupt, he could do this like kind of like shock overload kind of power crush and it pushes you back. So that's one of his heat systems right there. This guy Jack has a heat system parry. It's kind of similar to what Kazia has when he transformed into the uh, devil Kazia, right? But Jack has literally flex, big explosion, big uh, shock wave, parry. That is crazy. And then he runs up and do the flex and pose again. In this trailer, they are really trying to emphasize this attack. Tornado fist again. These combos is crazy. Wow, you get so many different options out of that attack. You get to trade into a big launcher straight into Rage Art. Jack's trailer is possibly one of the best trailers. I wasn't expecting this level of Chadness from Chad 8. Look at how he looks right there, bro. This guy's a beast. I was not expecting this. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Yeah, and that's his trailer. Very short, but it's very exciting. There's a lot of things in there that's just like mind blowing and I can't wait to see more. Like I said, Jun Kazama's trailer is coming in a couple of days, like four days, five days. That one is gonna be insane, bro. If they're doing all of this to Chad 8, imagine what they're gonna do to mommy. Uh, okay, okay, to Jun Kazama. Thank you for watching this breakdown. We'll talk about Jun Kazama when we get there. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and bye-bye.